You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey. Today's a special mini episode for you, highlighting some of the cool tech and gadgets that are coming to this year's biohacking conference. This is the 10th annual, although really it's our 12th year because of COVID and all that, a conference. And one of our title sponsors is STEM Regen. So I've got Christian Drapeau on, who's a stem cell scientist and herbalist and author and CEO of STEM Regen. This guy's a neurophysiologist from McGill University's Montreal Neurological Institute. And he came up with this idea after years and years of research that you can use unusual extracts of plants to cause your body to release as many stem cells as you can get from, say, an umbilical treatment. And umbilical treatments, as you might have heard, can have some serious effects that you might not want, even though they might work. So what I do is I take on most days, I take stem regen because it's releasing about 10 million stem cells from my own body that wouldn't otherwise be released. I just send a case of it to my parents when they called and said, hey, you know, can you help us with our health? So this is, uh, this is the real deal. I was skeptical. I see all kinds of people claiming all kinds of things. The science here is really solid. So I thought I would share in this very short episode with you an introduction to Christian, if you haven't heard him on the show before. Christian, welcome. My pleasure, David. Thank you. All right. You've got three new products that you're introducing at the conference. And for listeners, this is no infomercial. This is an educational perspective for you. I just want you to learn what's possible for your body. You don't have to buy anything to learn from this episode, but you might want to. Walk me through stem cells, embryonic cells, adult stem cells. What's the deal? Embryonic stem cells are cells that are present into uh, obviously an embryo. So the eight to, ten day, eight to 10 days old embryo, they are really interesting for research. They have no place really in terms of treatment. They created tons of confusion in the marketplace, you know, 15, 20 years ago. They're, they're a thing of the past as far as we're concerned for treatments. So, so yeah, we, we learned about stem cells through studying embryos decades ago. Nobody uses embryonic stem cells for anything that I'm aware of. And we it turns out your body makes stem cells every single day, largely in your bone marrow. And if you can change your body so it releases more of them, it's like you got a stem cell treatment, but you didn't have to do all the work. I still think there's room for stem cell treatments. I still get them full on, you know, travel out of the country do some really uh, detailed work, gene editing, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, for a little bit more than $100, you're getting more stem cells from taking the right combination of plants than you would from spending you know, $1,000 uh, in the US for getting a questionable stem cell umbilical cord extra. So I, I think what you're doing is really cool. Some people talk about plant-based stem cells, and that's not what you are, is it? Because why would plant-based stem cells work on humans? We're not made out of celery. That's right. That's right. No, they're not plant-based stem cells. Uh, I, I agree with you. Uh, plant-based stem cells, I always thought it was something kind of strange because these stem cells will become whatever in your body based on their own DNA. And obviously, you don't want to have the heart of a celery, as you just said. It's not working very strong for you. So it's plant extract that trigger the release of your own stem cells. Maybe if you're super vegan, you'd want plant-based stem cells because you're turning into a vegetable through your diet. I don't know, because I was a vegan, if you don't know, and it harmed my health. And I work on helping people be healthy by eating plants and animals. And honestly, having stem cells more present in your body is profound. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people heal much more quickly than they were supposed to using stem regen. So what happens within your new stem regen release product or your sport product? So the release is the current stem regen that we have right now. So stem regen becomes sort of the overarching brand and release will be what today we call stem regen. And the stem regen sport or released sport is the same formula. The only thing is that, as you know, the current stem regen release has colostrum in it because it, it's one of the strongest ingredients that we tested for its effect on triggering the migration of stem cells out of the blood into tissues. But it contains, colostrum contains insulin growth factor, which is on the water list. So you will never see it, will never pick it up in the, in the blood, but the NSF will not certify a product that contains colostrum. So we made a different formulation. It's the same thing. We swapped colostrum for pterostilbene, and that is essentially the NSF certified 
release or current stem regen that we have. So that's what the sport product is. Okay, got it. So what we have here is we have some Luddite, wrong-headed, bad people who hate athletes telling athletes they can't take normal supplements that keep them healthy and young, which I think is discrimination against people as they age. So if you're with the WADA, you guys need to back off. Every athlete should be taking colostrum from my perspective. And the fact that you're some sort of weird, like, hater of humans and you want to allow us to, to do things if we want to compete that keep us young and healthy, shame on you. In the meantime, we'll still comply with your rules. And there you go. Stem Regen has sport. You have Stem Regen Mobilize. Correct. Which I'm not a professional athlete. I don't want to be one. I want to live to at least 180 and I want to feel better and look better than I do now. That's the goal. So Stem Regen Mobilize, is that the one for me? All these three are, are for you, Dave. You're already taking the, the what is the release. So Mobilize is just that over the years, it was an observation that Sometimes people don't seem to get all the benefits that they are hoping from, uh, from from either releasing their own stem cells or a stem cell injection. And we need to understand that once a stem cell has been released and it's in your bloodstream, two things can prevent its ability to reach the target tissue where they repair. One is systemic inflammation, and the other one is its ability to really circulate into the fine mi microvasculature. So Mobilize is a product that has four technologies if you want to boost capillary circulation. So we get nitric oxide technology, natokinase for blood flow, uh, polysaccharide to rebuild the glycocalyx, and then a series of plants and, and the bioflavonoids for the integrity of capillary. So that's what Mobilize is. Okay, so Stem Regen Mobilize gives me all of the stem cell release that happens within Stem Regen but you're also supporting the lining of my arteries. It, it, that's actually, it's more targeting for fine vasculature because a stem cell can be 20 microns, a capillary can be 12 microns. If you want a stem cell, and the stem cell can only do its job of repair if it can go into the fine capillary. So how do you get a big cell into a capillary, fine capillaries? You increase the fluidity of the blood, natokinase, you dilate these capillaries, nitric oxide, you strengthen the capillaries so that they can be more flexible, all these bioflavonoids and these plants, and you, you make sure that the capillaries have a healthy layer called the glycocalyx that makes cells slick into the capillaries. So Mobilize contains those, those four aspects of microvasculature. I might actually switch to Stemregen Mobilize. As you know, I've been taking Stemregen. They're both together. They're different products. So you would take Stem Regen and then you take Mobilize to maximize the effect of Stem Regen. Ah, uh, got it. Okay, so I'm going to add this to my stack. Yep. Um, given that cardiovascular disease is one of the big four killers in, uh, in my book on longevity, um, other authors who read my book and then came out with their own book called The Four Horsemen, but it's the same thing. Uh, we're talking about uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer. Uh, and Alzheimer's as the big things that are likely to get you. And if you can maintain capillary health and the health of your blood vessels, which is what you're doing, that this really micro thin layer called the endothelial glycocalyx. And I've done a couple episodes on this before. So I love it. So I could take mobilize on top of stem regen release. Correct. Yeah. Another one that I'm not sure I understand, stem regen signal you're launching at the biohacking conference. Whether well, guys, you can meet Christian, you can see him on stage at the biohacking conference, go to biohackingconference.com to check that out. Uh, he'll be there on the 29th on the pre-conference main stage. On the 30th, I'm doing a fireside chat with him on the main stage. And on May 30th, he'll be doing an Upgrade You breakout session. So come and learn everything you want to know about stem cells from Christian and about what you can do at home affordably instead of going somewhere and getting umbilical cells. Now, talk about stem region signal. I don't think I understand this one. Signal is, this is coming from work, Dave, that we did like probably, I would say 2002, 2003, while I was in Climate Falls, we had access to about 200 patients that had Alzheimer's. And I thought we would see a difference between uh, people that have advanced Alzheimer's should have fewer stem cells because they can't repair. And we saw something which is true in almost like any kind of age-related disease. People who are more advanced happens to have fewer stem cells in circulation. And they're advanced because they can't repair uh, as fully as other people that have more stem cells. But what we saw, the most, the most uh, relevant correlation was that 
the people with Alzheimer's, advanced Alzheimer's, had the highest degree of systemic inflammation. And when we looked at the stem cells, the phenotype of these stem cells was off, meaning they had lost their ability to migrate in the brain. So the thought here is that systemic inflammation triggers the, the, the reaction of a stem cells in its ability to migrate in a tissue. So when it reaches the capillary, it lost the mechanics to migrate. So we need to suppress that systemic inflammation. So we call it signal because basically it's a number of plant extract that have all been documented to reduce all that signaling in the body that, uh, that basically confuses stem cells. So it's essentially, it's to, it's to harmonize inflammation for like a better, better term. Got it. So this is a really big deal. I've dealt with inflammation because I had autoimmunity since I was a kid, right as my knees when I was 14. And I've, I've had inflammation because of toxic mold really, and I've gotten it largely under control, but I'm always managing it. So for me, this would be something else that I'd add to my stack. And what are the specific ingredients that are affecting inflammation in this formula? Well, in Signal, we have bromo. Well, we're trying again to attack, just like with circulation, to really attack this phenomenon of inflammation from various angles. So we have bromelain, then we have different ingredients that will uh, touch COX-2 inhibitor. So phycocyanin, the blue pigment that you find in spirulina, it's a very, very unique potent selective COX-2 inhibitor. We have a uh, haritaki extract, Terminalia tibula, which is a five locks extract. So we take care of, uh, of all the prostaglandins family and all the leukotrienes family. Then we have other ingredients that suppress other, uh, other cytokines. So we have uh, andrographis paniculata. I think we have, what else do we have? We have a, a bitter orange extract. So all compounds are basically all are aimed at suppressing systemic signaling. Let's put it that way. And I've got to say, andrographis is one of my all-time favorite herbs that no one knows about. I have been taking it for 10 years. It's a star. It's a star, especially in people who've had toxic mold. It's actually hard to find. It also has this weird effect of 20% less likely to get any viral respiratory infection and 20% less severity in people who are taking it. Do I take this when I fly so I'm less likely to get anything? Yes, I do. Was I censored for writing about this during that three-year period of insanity? Yes, I was. So this is a superstar ingredient. I love it that you're using that in, in Signal. Yeah, it is. And I think if I remember well, we also have, have uh, astaxanthin in that formula. I do about 12 to 16 milligrams of astaxanthin a day. It's a superstar. You like the sun. So I, at any time I can get more source of that in my supplements, I like that. These are really cool ideas. And you're saying, all right, um, let's at a minimum get your stem cells released, which is the stem cell release. And then you want to get them into the small capillaries, which is really important, both for how you look and how you feel. And that's the mobilize. And then you've got the signal, which is the one that turns down the noise so that the stem cells can do what they're supposed to, that are just being inflamed everywhere. It, this is a a solid way of thinking about it. And people who've heard your longer interviews on the show understand you are a really epic stem cell scientist as well as herbalist. It's an unusual combination. I've learned a lot from our private conversations and I'm really grateful that you're supporting the biohacking conference. Guys, you wanna hang out with Christian, you wanna hang out with me and how about about 3000 other people, including our major speakers, more than a hundred vendors at the conference, and just a chance to learn and see the very latest in the biohacking industry. This is the first and the largest uh, biohacking conference in the world. And it's the one that launched the movement that's now a $63 billion industry from just 11 years ago. And Christian, thank you for being a part of the conference, for sponsoring it, and for listening today. Thank you if you're already planning to come to the conference. This is where the community comes together. This is where we get to eat an amazing meal that's curated hundreds of hours working with a hotel. We don't serve you corn dogs at the conference. This is not, you know, folding card tables. This is like going to CES or a really big conference. This is where everyone in the industry brings their, their best and you get to talk to the founders and you can see who's real. And it, it's, um, it's an unusual way of getting access to the people making the decisions, making the products, and the people doing the latest thinking. So Christian, I will see you there. We will hang out. You'll be at the VIP ticket dinner. And 
Thank you guys for listening. If you go to stemregen.co, not .com, stemregen.co slash Dave, Christian will give you 20% off your order. stemregen.co slash Dave, get 20% off. And go to biohackingconference.com, come to the conference, hang out. There's still a few tickets left and there's still a small discount available at the Biohacking Conference website. At a minimum, get your stem cells going. Stemregen.co. You don't need to go spend five hundred or a thousand dollars on some questionable umbilical cells from eight random women you haven't met. When you could just take stem regen, that's what I do. When I want to do my advanced treatments, I leave the country. You're listening to the Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey.